Hi, I'm Dr. Bumi, and let's talk about sports injury prevention today. Um, as parents, we want to encourage our kids to be physically active and participate in sports because there are a lot of benefits, such as keeping fit, uh, maintaining good mental health, uh, improving social skills, promoting teamwork, aiding in sleep, and even boosting self-esteem. Yet there are risks, so we do need to take precautions to keep our kids safe. So what kind of injuries are we going to see in sports? There's strains, sprains, fractures, dehydration, heat exhaustion, overuse injuries, head injuries, and concussions. So let's go over some tips to keep our kids safe. Number one, uh, warming up and stretching prior to an activity. This is gonna help prevent those strains and sprains. But it's also important to stretch after an activity to help loosen up the muscles we just used. Number two, having proper equipment, which means helmets, mouth guards, shin guards, protective cups, and also making sure that they fit properly and are in good working condition. Number three, hydration. Make sure your child drinks before, during, and after the activity. And also if there's extreme heat or humidity, stop the play. And in the heat, make sure your child is wearing light clothing and that they take frequent breaks and go in the shade to make sure that they regulate their temperature to avoid those heat related illnesses. Number four, rest and recovery. Yes, take those frequent breaks during the activities, but also rest after activities to avoid those overuse injuries and fatigue. Number five, follow the rules. Yes, teach your children to follow the rules of the game and to play safely. This will also respect their teammates and their opponents. Number six, make sure if your child is in pain to go ahead and stop the play and seek medical attention immediately. If there is an injury, recovery time is very important. So your child should not go back to that activity until they're pain-free in order to avoid further injury. And number seven, avoid overuse injury. Uh, and this is for our serious athletes. Uh, we wanna make sure that they allot one day a week and a total of one month out of the year to not participate in that particular sport so that they avoid burnout. Um, in addition, to also have some cross training that's going to help with their stability, mobility, and strength. And incorporating these different activities is going to give them overall fitness and avoid those overuse injuries. And lastly, start off with an annual physical exam so that we can be sure that your child is healthy enough to participate in that particular sport. And also the doctor can talk to you about any precautions you might have to take if your child has any underlying issues, such as asthma or Down syndrome or history of concussions or any other injuries. So let's stay safe and have lots of fun playing those sports. Thank you for listening and see you next week.